What we wanted to do was to find out what our churches are doing, what our individual local churches are doing, because we have um, 1,500 different congregations. Of those 400 are LEPs and parts of LEPs. Um, as a denomination, if we're planting a new church, we're supposed to make sure that it is part of an ecumenical project. So we don't actually have many just URC new churches starting up. Um, but really nobody has a finger on the pulse to say what exactly is going on. Um, we don't have, as a, as, a congreg as a denomination, we don't actually say that you have to report every kind of service that's coming in to some kind of head office. So that leaves us with uh, not, not knowing who's doing what. What we'd like to be able to do when we've actually understood how many churches are doing different things is to get people together so that our pioneering ministers or our ministers who are at the forefront of change can actually work together as a network. Um, the plan is perhaps early on next year to bring people together in some kind of conference or a day meeting of some kind. We haven't exactly decided what yet. Um, finding which people should be invited is going to be a nightmare, but quite a fun nightmare to uh, tackle. Um, as I said, there's quite a lot of things going on there. We've got uh, more than 50 of our churches are definitely doing something exciting and some way, new way of doing church. Um, so that's 50 people to start with that we can bring in. Um, and I'm hoping that we can all support each other and help understand, bring, bring to those people some understanding of more of what Fresh Expressions themselves can offer as a team. In, from a training point of view, from a support point of view, from the publications as well, because there's a vast wealth of information that Fresh Expressions can actually offer, uh, which I know is not being tapped into by the United Reformed Church. During the time that I've been doing this job, I've been very encouraged by the number of churches that are doing different things. I've also been really encouraged to see that our Eastern Synod is, in, is actually employing a pioneer minister now, um, he's working on the waterfront at Ipswich and he, at the moment he's in the very, very early stages of looking to find out what's going on there and see where the Holy Spirit's moving, see if we, there is any church activity or any new way of doing church that he'll be working on. I'll be going to see him again in the autumn this year so I'll be able to find out a bit more there and I'm really looking forward to finding out what exactly is happening there. I've also been down to Devon just recently, to North Devon, to meet with our pioneer minister over there and there's certainly some interesting things starting to emerge in there as well. A new church, new churches coming through from the community work that is happening out there in North Devon as well. So it's exciting times for the United Reformed Church and it's very, very new ground that's starting to be broken by our people here. One of the hurdles that we face as a denomination is understanding what exactly we mean by fresh expressions um, and the differentiation between a fresh expression of church and a new way of doing worship because we've got a lot of new worship coming through, which is great, it's encouraging people in. Actually starting up new churches is a completely different issue and that's something that, uh, as I said about the two pioneers in Devon and in the East, they, they are working towards new churches and we're looking forward to seeing what comes out of that. At the United Reformed Church General Assembly, which was just a couple of weeks ago, uh, Bishop Graham Cray came and addressed one of the fringe meetings and I believe that that was one of the most highly attended of all the fringe meetings that we had. Um, but there is a lot of interest in there and you ask where God is in all this. Well, to my mind, God is here. He's asking us to watch what's going on, to move out into our communities and to make sure that as a denomination we are 
taking careful note of what the Holy Spirit's doing, making sure that uh, we allow the Holy Spirit to actually move as necessary. Our pioneer ministers are doing it, our more pioneering ministers who don't actually have that official title are doing it already. And as a denomination, we need to make sure now that we can encourage everybody to get on with it and to move forward. And I certainly feel passionately that that's what, as a coordinator for Fresh Expressions, that's what I'm being asked to make sure is going to happen.